To early astronomers, the heavens were an expression of divine order. In this 1543 woodcut from Martin Luther's Bible, God the Orderer oversees the universe. The earth is fixed at the center, and the sun, moon, and stars revolve around the earth. This earth-centered or geocentric view dates back before the ancient Greeks. The planets were believed to be encased in solid transparent spheres whose rotation accounted for their motion. The Greeks believed that the universe was perfect and therefore only the sphere, the perfect solid, and the circle, the perfect curve, could be used to explain planetary motion. In the second century AD, the Greek astronomer Ptolemy, seen here with the muse of astronomy, replaced the notion that planets moved on concentric circles and spheres with an ingenious geometrical scheme. Ptolemy, like many astronomers before him, sought to explain the irregular motion of the planets. They seemed to slow down, stop, and reverse their paths as they moved through their orbits. Ptolemy accounted for this complicated motion by breaking it down into its constituent parts. He developed a system where small circles, called epicycles, moved on larger circles. Here's the basic motion of an epicycle. The planet Q moves with constant speed around a small circle, an epicycle, while the center of the epicycle, P, moves with constant speed around a larger circle, called the deferent. The deferent was centered on the stationary Earth. The circular motion of the epicycle and the deferent combine to produce this kind of a pattern. In order to preserve the ideal that planets moved on circles, Ptolemy adapted the basic epicyclic scheme to the specific motion of each planet. For example, the center of a planet's deferent, O, is not the Earth's center. It's situated a short distance away at a different point for each planet. The Sun doesn't have an epicycle, but its deferent revolves around its own central point, S. The Moon does have an epicycle, but while the epicycles of the planets move in the same direction as their deferents, the epicycle of the Moon revolves in the opposite direction. By the time he'd completed his design of the universe, Ptolemy's scheme included 40 cycles and epicycles. Astronomers believed in Ptolemy's Earth-centered universe for another 1,300 years. This map of the heavens from the star atlas of Andreas Solarius remains as an artistic record of the era. In the mid-1500s, the astronomer Copernicus posed the first serious challenge to the geocentric view. He claimed, among other things, that the sun was the center of the universe. At the time, this belief was not only radical, it was considered to be heretical. Over a hundred years after Copernicus introduced the idea, Galileo would be imprisoned for 